The new Halo series, Episode 1, is now out on Paramount Plus for you guys to go and check out and watch. I have just watched it. I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts on Halo Episode 1. What did I think of it? But I want to know also in the comments below, what did you guys think of the first episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below. Smash that like button for me and click subscribe. And let's jump straight into this review of Episode 1 of Halo. Okay, so Halo, 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 Episode 1, done and dusted. I'm going to tell you guys right now, I am a huge, huge Halo fan. I grew up playing the Halo games. They were the reason why I continued to get an Xbox was because of the Halo games. I, I love the first Halo. I loved Halo 2. Halo 3 was awesome. I loved the campaigns. I loved playing online. Me and my friends used to play Halo all the time. I loved Master Chief. I love the world building that they did in the games. I love basically everything about Halo. I have been wanting a Halo movie for so freaking long. We got forward into the dawn, which isn't, I would never consider that a Halo movie because it doesn't follow Master Chief. It doesn't follow that. We get a quick glimpse at the end of it. So I've been waiting for this Halo movie for a decade at least a decade if not more i have been waiting for one when i heard that paramount were picking it up to do a tv show i was so excited to find out that we are actually going to follow master chief i was so excited i was like a little kid again i was just nostalgia running through my veins everything running through my veins and i'm just there super excited for this series now i have officially watched episode one and i'm gonna tell you guys right now this is what I have been waiting for for so long. I love this. I love this episode. I love that they're actually doing this. Uh, to me, they got so many things right when doing this. Where, where do I begin? Look, I, I, I'm going to start off with, I have to start off with, the actual look that they got. The, the designs and of the guns are perfect. That BR looks amazing. That pistol looks really freaking amazing as well. The assault rifle looks like an assault rifle. I love that they kept the sniper rifle like the sniper rifle from the games as well. I love the look of the alien guns as well. It fits. It looks like the ones from the game. I am so glad they kept that and didn't change anything about it. Because that, to me, just screamed Halo. The design of the Covenant, of the Elites that we have seen so far. Incredible. Nailed. Absolutely nailed it. I love the look of it. They just look like the Elites from the game. The way they move, the, the sword. I mean, the energy sword is just incredible. It's so freaking cool when he lights it up, when he stabs someone. It just is so incredible. It looked just like how I remember and how I have been playing in the games. Perfect. Absolutely nailed that. We we go to the actual Covenant place as well. I love the look of there. I love the look of the priest looking fellas. I can't remember what their names are, but Mercy, I'm pretty sure his name is. But he looks brilliant as well. He looks perfect. He looks just like the game. He looks like the game. Oh, it's so good. And then the Spartans themselves, they nailed the Master Chief look. And I'm so glad that they have other Spartans as well. They, they, it's not a carbon copy of the game. They've taken elements of the game and reach and put them together, which I like as well. And having the other Spartans there was really, really good. And they nailed the look of them as well. Another thing I really like is the little details that they did in this is when we actually go to the first person point of view. The dashboard is just like the game. You have the bullets. You have the grenades, you have the shield, the sound effects, the sound design is brilliant, the sound effects are brilliant. You, you, the pit, they sound just like the freaking plasma uh, rifles in the game. The shield was incredible. That, I just, that, oh, is so good. There's everything just, it was just what I would been dreaming for in Halo series. It's what I've been dreaming. And it's finally there. It looks good. The Banshees look good. The Pelicans look amazing. Reach looks amazing. 
they got keys is in it as well. Both of them. They're both there. It's, it's great. All that stuff is fantastic. When it comes to the story, we are just done. And also, before I get the story, they're also put in the Arbiter as well, which I freaking loved as well. When I saw him, I was like, that's the Arbiter. That's the Arbiter. I can't wait to see him. That's, that's awesome as well. He looks freaking incredible. So I'm so excited to see him. And when he went invisible, brilliant. Uh, the story so far, this is just the introduction. So we're not getting too deep into the story. But we, if you guys have played the, the, the games, you know where the story is going to go eventually. We're going to get to the Halo ring. That's what's going to happen. That's going to be the big, big thing. You're going to destroy the Halo ring. But we found the artifact. Master Chief. I like what they're doing with the Spartans and that. I'm starting to see... Where, where they're going with Master Chief as well, how they're going to develop him as a character. But he's in... Come on, man. That introduction of Master Chief. When the aliens start just slaughtering everyone, which I thought was freaking incredible as well. That was so good. They're just coming in, just obliterating, and made total sense. And then when Master Chief lands, you just knew shit was going to happen. It was just like the game. You just knew that was going to happen. And it was just absolutely fantastic when Master Chief and the other Spartans were just wrecking the aliens. I loved it. Absolutely loved it so much. So we're not too much into the story or anything like that. But as a fan of the games, so far they are doing justice. And I really like what they are doing with this. They're not just treating it like just some sort of IP that would make them a ton of money or anything like that. They're actually taking care, they're developing things, the way that they designed everything, they kept it like the classic books from the game, which I really, really appreciate. And I can't wait to see what the Warthogs are gonna look like, what the Scorpions are gonna look like, what the Ghosts are gonna look like, the, what the Alien Tanks are gonna look like. I can't wait to see what the Grunts look like, uh, what, what else is there? There's so many that they still haven't shown us yet that I'm looking forward to seeing moving forward. I think they have a lot. This this could be a series that could run for many, 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 many seasons. And I'm super, super excited. I think just they just nailed it for me. They nailed this first episode is an introduction to this world. And the world building is great as well. They gave us enough to understand that the Spartans and the uh, UNC, UNC are fighting ag against the rebels. The rebels don't like them. There's propaganda in that. And when the aliens come, you start to see them realize, oh, wait a second, maybe the Spartans aren't so bad. But I also like what they're doing. We still haven't seen Katana yet. We haven't seen her yet. We've There's been mention about it. We haven't seen her yet. So I think she is going to come in eventually, which I'm excited for as well. Because you know Master Chief and Katana's relationship is very vital in the games and it's one of the core elements to who master chief is as well and that relationship so i'm excited to see where they're going to go now it was a fantastic pilot episode fantastic introduction to the world and to master chief and to halo they had the classic halo music in here as well which i just get giddy every time i hear it there oh it's just so i uh, it's just this was everything i wanted so I, i'm i'm so happy i'm so happy you know I can't wait to watch this episode again, and I can't wait till next week for the episode two, episode three, episode four, episode... I just cannot wait now. I cannot wait. So let me know in the comments below, what did you guys think of this Halo series? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Smash it down below, smash that like button, click subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe, and peace out.